feeling to photograph sculptures. They were all living, they were all alive for me. And the light gives you that life. You know? When I finally came to Zurich in the morning and we went into the atelier, there's a big beautiful window and I saw like 20 sculptures sitting there on the table in the corner. I had really goosebumps and I didn't know really why because I mean, after all, they're just sculptures. But then with the time I figured out during the day, they were not just sculptures because you feel like, like, like in those sculptures there was the whole life of a man. I really to take them and group them together and then I figured out that they start talking to each other. When you put one there and then one there, normally they are just like two pieces of bronze or something. But they were like interacting, like hallucinations. Oh, that's the most emotional moment, really unbelievable. Yesterday, it's so minimal everything that the little plastic things on the sculptures, they made the whole thing look like after a war or something. When I walk in this morning and now take just those things out and then the whole minimalism comes out. And that is unbelievable. I mean, it's really unbelievable how that felt. And then you also feel, you can, you can follow the thoughts you had when you were hanging the exhibition. Now it's a, it's a cross and the four of them, and here are two, and there's one. Because you can also say, these are the photographs, and these are the sculptures, it doesn't have necessarily to be together. But I think that, that they are together, and in, and in an incredible space like that, that is, I mean, highly emotional. People always think when you photograph a human being, they say that is the human being, which is ridiculous because there's much, much, much too complex to find that in one picture. Uh, so that means that person you think you catched doesn't exist anyway, but exists. You photograph something which is in the middle between the photographer and, and the sitter. That's a space who creates each time itself and makes a person look in a certain way. That's what is reflected in the picture. Even, even the heads, the sculptures, the three, they look different too when you look at them. They have really, that's a different emotion on everyone. How this thing looks like three different heads. The qualities of his sculptures, I think that is the direct access you feel the artist had to what he was doing. And that is, I think, the, the greatest achievement because if you really create something that comes out of you, so that means it is absolutely original and unique. And then to feeling that Giacometti's life, like, you know, all these years of searching suddenly ended up in like a sculpture in front of you. And if you take everything else away, that thing stays alive. That's beautiful.